it's Arthur again. Hi. So, the big news today is I might be growing a beard. <laughs> I know, it's too early to say for certain yet, but we think it's definitely a possibility. So uh, basically what happened was, uh, yesterday we were having our normal crew meeting online, and uh, at the end of it, Teresa said, by the way, like the new beard. And I said, brilliant, who's growing a beard? And Teresa said, have a guess. And I guessed Martin. And Martin said, Arthur, you can see me, have I got a beard? And I said, no, but you know what it's like. There's often a bit of a lag on these things. So we had a chat about it and we decided that the lag probably wasn't quite enough for Martin to grow a beard. So I said, well, who is it then? And Teresa said, have another guess. And I guessed Douglas and then I guessed Herc. And then mum suggested, I think, quite hard before my next guess. And long story short, it's me. And I was just I, I, amazed because I didn't think I could grow a beard. I've never had one before. And then uh, Douglas said, well, when did you start shaving? And I said, uh, when I was 16. And Herc said, how often do you shave? And I said, every morning. And Douglas said, I think we may have penetrated to the heart of the mystery. Because you see, when I moved into the granny flat, I forgot to bring a razor with me. And it turns out that is literally all it takes. <laughs> so uh, mum suggested that she could post me a razor if I wanted, but I said no, because I I'd like to see what beard I'm gonna get. I'm hoping either for a great big red one like a pirate or a long thin white one like a wizard. So we'll just wait and see. Also, while we're online, uh, I read them out all your brilliant ideas for surprising short four names and they loved them. And these are the six we liked best. So Dawn says that Pen and Teller is short for Penguin and Telemarketer. Uh, Matt says Zoe Ball is short for Zoe Trope Balloon. Lucas says Matt Damon is short for Mathematics Demonstrator, which I like because you can read it in a silly voice. Uh, Rachel says Lucy Lou is short for Lucifer Lunacy. Uh, Colin says Hugh Laurie, don't know who that is, is short for Humongous Lorikeet. And my favourite was from Shlomia, and they say that Amy Polar is short for Amiable Polar Bear. Brilliant. And then we played a game that one of you suggested, um, Leslie Ross. Thank you, Leslie Ross. Uh, Leslie suggested that we could make a game out of finding titles of Granny's books that tell a story. So we did. It was brilliant fun. I took my phone round and kind of showed everyone all the books and then we worked together and made stories like uh, this one. Between the Woods and the Water, My Cousin Rachel Dances with Wolves. Or, uh, this was Mum's suggestion, Robin Hood and his merry men kidnapped the Vicar of Wakefield. Brilliant. And then we thought, uh, instead of stories, we'd try finding little sets that made poems, like this one. The Phoenix and the Carpet, Children on the Law, Cat Among the Pigeons, The Chalet School at War. Uh, and then we found a few that worked as both stories and poems, like um, A Month in the Country, Till Death Has Two Part, after the funeral, any human heart. And then there was this one, Douglas's. The rector's wife, a private view, a possible life in Timbuktu. Jane Griggs and Soups, afternoon teas, fishes of the British and Northern European seas. And last of all, the house at Pooh Corner. The wind in the willows, love me little armadillo. <laughs>